more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Man, Top billing, hit me out real quick right here. Your boy, Kenneth Walker is one of the best running backs in the NFL, bar none. He is extremely fun to watch, has extreme wiggle, right, boss? And that man is an explosive play waiting to happen. However, he seems like more of a nail. In a hammer and a nail situation, your man Zach Charbonnet is undoubtedly the hammer. Right here, MC Hammer himself will be proud of something like this. Look at this man quickly get vertical and bang! My God, lifting men's soul out of their body cavities. Look at this. I look how they do this, right? They have a great motion game in Seattle right there. You can see Geno Smith right here adjusting the protection. What you're going to get on this one is a trap play, right? So working with these gap schemes with a trap play, you can see this right here, Geno adjusting protection, playing with Jamin Davis here. They're going to work up to Jamin Davis right here. And oh, great block. And then pow, my man Butler right here took a cold one. Zach Charbonnet always changing that pad elevation right here. You can see him getting north south, get up in the man's chest cavity. And he was like a hood ornament. Absolutely lifted his soul right there. He was reverse hang gliding. He was hanging on for dear life right there. His soul gone. His body will never be the same right there. He's going to be needing a service, dog. I mean, I would start Zach Charbonnet, even if Walker ends up getting more carries than him. A lot of Walker's carries would be in the second half after your man Charbonnet has loosened up the D, right? Oh, it's got to pause that too. I mean, you're getting down blocks here. You got Kobe Parkinson right here kicking out on the end man on the line of scrimmage. More down blocks here. They're pulling the opposite guard. Your boy, Damian Lewis here. Everybody's getting it in. And that man is a no frills type of runner. He's just going to get north south, get everybody involved. Look how many people have to tackle him. He's still on his feet. That's what you need for somebody loosening up a defense, man. You know what I mean? The Seattle Seahawks, if anything, we know have traditionally been a run first team. The passing game is derived from the run. Your man Zach Charbonnet right here, he gets in, he makes shit happen. Of course, Kenneth Walker does the same. It's just different. Look at that. They're opening up these holes right there, and he's getting north-south, making people make business decisions, right? I mean, they're up there making all kinds of deals with the devil and everything to try not to tackle this guy or to try not to get put on his highlight poster. They calling in the Calvary and all that, right? Come on now. Same deal right here. You get that pin on Jonathan Allen. You get that pull by Lewis again. He's very patient um, for the most part. But when he gets there, he's trying to explode through the hole, drop that pass, and look at that. He's always making somebody have to make themselves available for contact, right? And he's going to put you in that 50-50 exchange situation. He's dropping that pad level. He's trying to go through you. Right, whereas Kenneth Walker's trying to get to you to get around you. Just a different way of operating there. This man softening up the defense with Kenneth Walker being the nail. Come on, man. You can't tell me that's not the way to go. Jet action here. You get that counterplay from Kenneth Walker. Uh, getting pulls and everything. But a lot of the stuff that Kenneth Walker wants to do deals with hitting a home run. And you can't hit a home run on every play. Way too many negative gains or at least not net games, right? You'll get some where he's just stopped at the line of scrimmage and you get a lot where he will literally go east-west when he probably could go north-south and at least get you a couple of yards. Kind of takes you off schedule. Then again, like I said before, he's one of the best top five in my opinion. Uh, he's also going to get you some gains to where you're like, damn, how in the hell did he get out of that? But to me, that's best served after a defense has been softened up a little bit. Here we get that short motion, right? That that bluff motion there. And look at my man still getting north-south. He's just looking to make something happen. Not a big game right there. Probably shouldn't have been a game at all, right? Well, you can see him take this, and he's immediately sticking that foot in the ground and looking to get north-south. He wants to get right here, your man, Kenneth Gainwell. He he's all with it like that.
<laughs> but not shopping. Ain't no frills. He's getting it in. Come on, man. I mean, when you get a tired defense messing with Charbonnet, you can come with a man that is nasty in the open field like Kenneth Walker. Look at this. Whoop! Uh, making men grasp at air. Extremely explosive. Come on. What a one-two punch there. And they have more cats on the bench who can flip both of their styles. Uh, but we'll have to get to that another time, man. Come on. Let me know what you think about that, though. Your man Zach Charbonnet being the guy who sets the table while Kenneth Walker eats a little bit later in the game. Not to say that Kenneth Walker would only get carries later in the game. It's just that Zach Charbonnet would get the bulk of his carries in the beginning of the game, or the, you know what I'm saying, the first half all the way up until there. And then you got Kenneth Walker, who would be still getting carries as well, but the bulk of his carries would still be more in the second half after the defense is like no moss. All right, real quick, you're getting to see this real time here. I didn't even think to look. I wondered about Kenneth Walker. The reason why I did this because it looked like he wasn't having as good a year as he had last year. And I'm looking at it statistically. Man, 4.1 yards per attempt. What? And Zach Charbonnet averaging 5.6 yards per attempt. Now, keep in mind, it's just 38 attempts. So, it's a, you know what I mean? Uh, you can pick 38 attempts from Kenneth Walker, and I'm pretty sure he'll have some that he can get five or six yards per carry as well. So you got 145 attempts to 35 attempts. The man has 100 more attempts. Your yards per carry are going to go down, no doubt about that. But damn, 4.1 yards per carry. Now, I've been talking about the offensive line. People don't want to talk about it, right? They want to blame a certain someone. The offensive line, right, struggling with the pass protection, and the run game is not up to snuff as usual, over the bulk of the carries. I mean, Kenneth Walker has the bulk of the carries, and they're only getting 4.1 yards per attempt. Now, all of that is not on the offensive line. I understand that Kenneth Walker does like to dance. He's jingle-footed, right? Uh, he be getting it in right there with his dancing there. But he's also very explosive, and he can make chicken salad out of chicken shit, too. So keep that in mind as well there. But in comparison there, uh, 595 yards thus far from Kenneth Walker, uh, 5.6 yards per carry, 214 yards from Charbonnet there. Uh, the targets, uh, 22 targets, 16 receptions. Targeting Zach Charbonnet, it seems, uh, man, a little bit more. Actually, right, if you take in the fact that he missed the game, he's not getting as many carries, lets me know he's getting a ton of snaps. It's just a lot of them aren't rushing snaps. So... Now you see right there, but 10.9 yards, obviously he had that long-ass touchdown one, so that's going to skew that a little bit there. So definitely a good one-two punch there. Uh, may want to look into that, having Charbonnet uh, be the pilot of the run game to start, and then Kenneth Walker coming in and really hammering it home and getting extremely explosive. He probably can end up getting what Charbonnet gets, off of way less carries, right? If you did want to give Charbonnet more carries, he's just going to be a little bit more efficient, especially if with a defense already softened up. But let me know what you think about that, man. Your boy Jersey Murphy, as always, thank you to everybody out there. Big salute to everybody who supports the channel, man. Much love to you guys. And, uh, of course, see you on the next one. Strike the band. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.